Hey there, Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. Jim is away slaying dragons at Dragon Con, so I'm holding down the fort, and today I'm thinking about my wedding. As of filming, we are one week away from the big day, and to be honest, I'm actually in a pretty good headspace right now. I know I probably should be more anxious or worried, and I tend to be the kind of person that I don't get worried until I get closer to the event, so for now, I'm just kind of in that lull where I know that there's a lot of time between now and next Saturday, and so I'm not really bothered by it, but I know that kind of ball of anxiety is coming my way. It's been a long engagement when you think about it. I mean, I proposed in December 2016, and now I'm getting married September 2018, so it's been a long time coming, a lot of planning, a lot of arranging, a lot of thinking through the details, almost 100% of that done by Sarah and not myself. When you think about the level of detail that goes into it, it's pretty mind-boggling. I mean, in this year alone, Sarah and I renovated our old house, renovated our new house, sold our old house, bought a new house, and then moved cities, and still, that level of detail doesn't even come anywhere close to what you have for a wedding. I mean, when you think about the details of it, from vendors and guest lists, venue, food and food tasting, suits or dresses, I can understand why it would be so overwhelming. But even when you take all of that into consideration, you still have the day of. So there is all of this preparation that goes into the start of it, like the front end of it. And then the day of is an entirely new beast altogether. Oh, and let's not forget that oftentimes you have to plan for the day before and then the day after as well. From itineraries to rehearsals and rehearsal dinners, gifts, how you're going to spend time with each other, getting ready. And then the day of, you got to show up looking your best for all of the photos and everybody else and have this wonderful experience. And I'm not trying to knock on it like that. I'm just... It's, it's amazing when you sit down and think about all of the, these important details for just one day, and yet it's supposed to be the most amazing day. Thankfully though, we've been fortunate and we've been surrounded by a lot of good people to help us out. We've got some great vendors, our family's been amazing and super supportive, especially for Sarah. Sarah has been an amazing all-star in all of this. And so many friends and families have stepped up and they're, they're giving us love and words of encouragement and words of wisdom and practical advice. I've had two pieces of advice so far. One of them from my bar manager who just got married and he said, when taking photos, make sure to drop the shoulders so it makes you look taller and makes you look more upright. And of all the pieces of advice a lot of people have given me, it's that you have to make sure to enjoy the day itself because you spend so much time mingling and meeting and talking with everybody that you sometimes forget to stop and actually enjoy the process. Because after all, the day is about you, or at least so I'm told, I'll find out next week. Anyways, if you have any pieces of advice, let me know down below. I could probably use a few more tips and tricks to make sure the day goes off without a hitch. The countdown is on, only five more sleeps and then it's the big day. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for any comments that you give me down below and don't forget, stay awesome.